Welcome back you guys, my name is Gameboy, and today's game we're going to be playing, it's called Ratchet and Clank, and I am not going to enjoy what I'm about to do, I'm going to have to go into the robot factory that, where basically what Clank I has been made, and everything, the factory that Clank came from, and it's not going to be one of my favorites, it's really not going to be one of my favorites, just because I know what I have to do, and it's not going to be one of my favorites, I'm going to just say that right now, because... In the robot factory, you have to use the disguise, and this disguise goes really, really slow. So if you at all die and everything, and everything, the check, you have to go back to the last checkpoint that you just were at, and then you're able to then go and restart at the same time as you have to then go back through the part that you just did again just making sure that this time you are able to go and do it because uh and it's just very not something that i like at least when i was doing this for the ps4 version at least i had enough bolts to gold bolt to go and be able to speed up the game a little bit but there's nothing that i can do here that will speed up the game at all and it's like there's not even a menu in here that will allow me to go and use my gold bolts and everything so this is just not going to be one of my favorite parts but i i i sort of knew i sort of ha had i sort of knew i had to do this part at some point so it's not like this was unfamiliar territory it was just something that i was always not wanting to get to because it's at a point to where basically if I don't do this correctly then I can go and have to retry multiple times while going as slow as I am right now and I really do not want to be doing this but to do what I need to do and to get to the main computer that made Clank I ha sort of have to so uh, not one of the main things of this game that I'm gonna enjoy, but if I have to, and I do, I will do it. Okay, first off, destroy you, because I can. And now let's try to do this without, like, needing to, like, reset anywhere, because the moment I need a reset, that's when this is gonna get very tedious, because I can do this! This isn't that bad. It's just when, basically, you have to do this over and over and over, that's when it starts becoming very tedious and, uh, and that's not one of the things I'm gonna like. At least I know how to do certain things here, and I know that I have full ammo on everything, so as I do this, this isn't gonna be too bad, but it's still not one of the things I'm gonna enjoy doing. So I'm going to have to come over to here and make sure that I can do this because I have to make sure that if I do this, I have to... Okay, first off, let's get this. Fire at you, fire at you, and then fire at you. Okay, good. At least I have the weapon that kills them directly, so that's at least good. And having the Glove of Doom right now is one of the weapons that I am very very glad that I have. I am just very glad that I have the Glove of Doom so then I don't have to deal with a lot of stuff. Uh, anytime I turn into the hologram of these giant robots and everything, that's gonna not be something that I'm gonna enjoy, but if I have to, I have to, and that's a gameplay mechanic that I'm gonna have to at some point get used to, or else if I don't, then this is just gonna be very very tedious and I really do not want this to be very tedious so I'm gonna have to get used to it at some point <sighs> not one of the my favorite parts to destroy those sentry boxes. make sure they do not press the alarm button no duh I know that for a fact I have played Ratchet and Clank before not this version of Ratchet and Clank but I have played Ratchet and Clank so I know that when the sentry bots go and hit the button, it's not going to be good on my part. But at least I can do this, at least. Open that. Now go into the gadget. No, yeah, weapons, not gadgets. 
And I will need the weapon of... Yeah, I need this nice. weapon. And then I need to aim it correctly enough. Okay, good. Now destroy you guys because I really don't need any trouble. That just really helps in the long run. I, I should just really help. Have that help. So that's really good that I can have that. So I don't have to like deal with a lot of the robots. So I'm very glad that I reloaded on my ammo and got what I needed to get because if I didn't get what I needed to get then this would be very tedious. Okay, so I'm gonna just destroy this because I sort of need to so then they stop building the robots because I really don't need them to continue building once and everything when I'm trying to destroy this factory. Okay, so you I will need to destroy. Okay, not like that, not like that. I will need to destroy you like this. Okay, so up to here, I guess. Thank you. I'm just trying to destroy as much of this area as I can, just so then it doesn't have a chance of building the robots anymore. Okay, one more. Is that all the things here? Apparently so, so let's just continue. Okay, so I will have to... Okay, let's put the shield back on. And let's go and... Let's go back into our disguise because it seems like I need to. At least I know what is going to happen at certain points during this, so I don't really have to worry that much. But exactly how did this blow up in the first place? Like, I don't get it, but okay. Let's go and... Not gadgets. I need the weapons and I need to use that weapon. Of course, so then let's aim it up. Let's go and bring it over to here. Let's blow up these two. Let's blow up that enemy. Then let's go and try to destroy the other two that are walking around. Okay, that works in my favor, so then I don't really have to worry about like needing to turn into the um, disguise as much. So I'm just really glad that I am understanding what I'm doing here because this is not one of my favorite things to do. This is honestly not my favorite thing to do, but if I have to do it, then I have to do it. But it's still not one of my favorite things at all that I have to do during this. Okay, first off... Okay, just fire all my ammo at... Okay, I'm just glad that right here they can't reach me, so that's really good. I'm just really glad that right there they couldn't reach me as much, so that's really, really good. Okay, let's go and use this. Destroy you, then you. I don't know if this does get anything, but I want to see if I do, because if I destroy all the mechanical arms that are here, then maybe I'll get something that is useful. I'm not really sure if I do. Or it's just a secret that basically I get a secret achievement or something. I'm not really sure. But if I get something from it, then that's going to be go cool. Okay, so I will need to be very careful on what I'm doing right here then. Destroy you. Then you. Just keep firing, apparently. The more, I'm, the more damage I do to these, I guess. It does something, I'm not really sure on what it can do, but I did not know that it could be above the door. You're gonna explode? Thank you. Don't need you to be working on the robot. Really just don't want you guys to build any more giant robots, so the more damage I do, the better, I guess. I'm guessing, I'm not really sure on if it's doing any, it would do anything, but... Uh, I really just do not like parts like this in video games to where you have to go methodically slow and it's like uh, I really just do not like it because if you have to retry the section multiple times it just gets so very very frustrating and I just really do not like it okay so I will need to turn okay I need this gadget I need Clank to do this to be able to do that of course okay let's have the shield Let's bring out the glove of Wait. Let's just destroy these bo boxes first. And then let's bring out the glove of doom. 
and then turn into the hologram because it seems like that's gonna be good in this section. I'm not really sure on if it is, but if it is, then that's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so it is. It's gonna be really good in this section. Hello? Open up. Thank you. And then just wait. Just wait for the little robot. Okay, good. I'm now able to just do this. I am so surprised that I'm doing this first try. I'm not understanding how I'm doing it first try, but I am doing it first try. And that is so very, very lucky because I don't have to retry any of this tedious stuff. Oh, I'm already at the computer. That should do it. Mom? Oh, brother. I tried, Mom. I know. Hey, look! A sister! My fellow blog. Our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the Deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Ratchet? Are you all right? He is going to pay! Excuse me? It shouldn't have taken me this long to see it! Drek is going to find out what happens when you mess with my home. What are you smiling at? This is the ratchet I always knew was there. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need to get on the Drek's ship. And then we can find out where he set up that laser. I will try to make you proud, Mom. Okay, so apparently now I just need to go onto Drek's ship and figure out where the deplanetizer is. But before doing that, I'm gonna go reload on my ammo because I really, really do not want to go to where they are. I know I could possibly go and... Hey, wait, am I able to do it? Am I able to do what I'm thinking I'm able to do? Like, is there a way for me to do this? It looks like the going to be a way for me to do this so if I stand right there maybe if I get enough height maybe yeah if if I could do it right there then that's gonna be good oh so no 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 it blocks it off so even if I could do it even if I wanted to I couldn't do it even, yeah, because they, I think they fixed it, so then you couldn't. So, yeah, I'm gonna just keep going on to the next area, and yeah. Even though I can't go through that door and get more bolts, I at least am able to now go to the next area and all that, so that's really good. That's really good in this sense, so. I need to now go to Drex's fleet, and I just need to go destroy whatever I need to destroy, find out what he's doing, and find out where the deplanetizer is, and then I need to go and... yeah. Okay, so let's go get the bolts, and is there... Okay, good. The, so there's one Gadgetron thing right here, so that's good. But for you today. the one thing I don't like about this game is, like, how you have to have bolts for every single last person, and even when you don't have the bolts, 
you still do need the bolts, and it's like, the bolt collector, you don't get until late in the game, and it's like, why? It's like, something that you definitely do need, and it's like, if you, if you need it so badly, and everything, because you need to collect the bolts, then why do they give it to you so late in the game? It's like, I don't really understand why they would, but apparently they do. And I'm just going into, a, into this disguise, because I'm guessing that at some point, I will need to... Yep, I sort of knew. I sort of knew that I this was going to happen. Even though there's no button... I sort of knew that there was going to be giant robots, because why wouldn't there be on Drek's fleet ship? Okay, let's... Okay, let's change into our normal suit. I really do not like that robot disguise because of how slow you are, but... If I do this carefully and... Oh... If I do this very carefully, I don't have... I won't have to do this again, and if I don't have to do this again, that just means that I can just... Oh, good lord. I did not know that. Okay, wait for it to go down. Wait for it to go down. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Press the circle button to wave to the sentry bot, and he will deactivate the skills. No, duh. I'm not stupid. I know how this goes. So let's turn over to here, do that, and just now wait. Keep on going, they can't see me from right here, so they sh you should just go and keep doing what you're doing. Okay, good, so I don't have to deal with any of those guard dog bots, those d guard bots. But, yeah, I really do not like the hollow disguise, really, one of the things I really do not like is the hollow disguise, because it's very slow, and it's not like you can speed up the game at all, so I just really do not like it. That If that's the only flaw I have about this game, then I, I'll take it, I'll take the only flaw that I don't like about this game, and I'll take it, because I just really do not like it, because it's like... It's like, you have to use it, and uh, it's just very, very annoying to use, and it's just not something that I like. I really do not like the Hollow Disguise, but let's just keep going, apparently. Okay, let's keep, let's go this way. So... Take out the Glove of Doom, let's throw a few of those out, and just let's keep walking forward. Take out the robots that are here, because you can. Okay, good, so that's a thing. Okay, just keep going. Don't press the button, do not press that button. Okay, so that's happened. Okay, so I have to be very, very careful in this area. Let's throw a few down, and let's just go do this. Gonna come, take out the robots over here, please. Really do not want any problems, and I will have problems if this isn't taken out soon. Okay, just throw the bomb, just throw the glove bomb, just throw the glove bomb. Come out! Come out! I don't care at this point. Oh, good lord, now I do. Now I really do care. And this is one thing I really did not want to do. Again. Really just do not like this part. Just really honestly do not like this part in any sense of the form. But if I have to do it again, I have to do it again. But I just really hate the fact that I have to do this again just really ticks me off, but at least I can this and for you guys, I can just skip to the end if I keep dying so that's at least something that I can do, so that's just am I able to go through that door or something or is it locked because I haven't done it yet okay, so teleporting and doing this over is the thing I have to do great
great. Now I'm over here, I guess. Now that I've actually done that tediously boring and why they added it to the game, I don't know. I understand that you needed some challenge, but why they had to add that one part to the game, I just really don't like. But at least I have this part to do, and that's good. Okay, so I definitely have to find a different way around because I'm going to get hit by those bullets if I don't. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way around this. Okay, so, as long as I go on this platform, I guess, I don't... Okay, so I will need to take out the ships and everything. The, take out the cannons and everything. So that's going to be a thing that I'm going to have to do. All I have to do is just fire, t I think. A f okay, what what's happening? Okay, how do I fire my weapon? Okay, thank you. Don't know why it didn't want to work for me right there, but apparently firing... Okay. Come on, stop! Stop, stop, stop! If you don't like you, can you just stop your unnecessary... Okay. That was so very unnecessary for the game to do for me. Can you just die already? I get you're trying to kill me, Blarg. Okay, I can't fire straight anymore? I, I used to be able to fire straight in these games. Okay, you! Uh, I really do not like this again. This, I don't understand why it wants to be so difficult. I know how to do this. This isn't a part of the game that I should normally have trouble on. And everything. I know what I'm doing. I know how I am supposed to do it, but it's like it's not working for some reason, and I really just hate that. I really hate when parts like this do not want to work for me, even though you know what you're supposed to do. It's like it doesn't want to work for you. Okay, can you just die already? Oh my god, I hate this. I don't know why this is turning out to be so frustratingly difficult when I know exactly what to do. Okay, I don't know why that wanted to be so difficult. I really honestly don't know why that wanted to be so difficult as it was. Like, I knew how to do it. I knew what I was doing was okay, but for some reason it just did not want to work for me. Like. Every time I would try to go fire and everything, a blog ship would be there, so I would have to fire at that, and it would fly me into something that would make it so I wouldn't be able to go and do it, and it's like, oh my good lord, this game is, this part of the game I do not like. Ugh. Okay, so all I have to do is keep going forward, I guess, and try not to get hit by the lasers, and... Once I get this done, I won't ever have to do this ever again. Unless I want to replay the game, but at this point, I would just rather play the, 20, the 2016 version because of how easy that game was. Compared to this game, the 2016 game was a lot easier than this. Okay, get onto here, and let's just keep doing this part because apparently okay so I don't really have to be in the disguise okay good so let's just do this tonight on Blonde TV the event you have all been waiting for the total annihilation of an entire planet witness the power the destruction and the nothingness that follows so join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. Okay, so now that I have that information, am I just able to d do this? Am I able to just use this? Okay, great. So, yeah, that's easy enough to do. 
glad that I found that because I really did not want to trek all the way back to this location. But oh, at least I don't have to ever today. do the hologram thing again. I hope. I hope I don't ever that's have to do the thing. hologram thing again because if I have to do the hologram thing again, then that's not going to be something I'm going to like. So, at least I can now move over to Ratchet's planet and do Ooh, that nice and all that. So, that's going to be good. So, once I get to Ratchet's planet, I am then going to be able to go and defeat um, Cap um, Commander Drek and do what I need to do there. So... Yep, let's just go back to Ratchet's planet. Okay, so the enemies are over there and everything, so that's gonna be something, but at least I got to this point and I got past the two tedious parts I really, really do not like, but at least I made it to Ratchet's planet and I can do what I need to do here. I can save his planet and then complete the game, I guess. I'm not really sure if this is the end, but if it is the end, then it is the end, but... Oh my good lord, at least I am finally, finally done with those two tedious parts. I never have to do that again unless I want to go back and do it. Unless I really, 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 really need to, I don't really have to do that again. Unless collecting the gold bolts, of course, but... I may not do that just because of how tedious this game is, but I do like how this game allows you to bring this save file over to the third game, and it gives you a discount. I like how it gives you a discount in Gadatron when basically you bring this over to the third game, and I'm not sure if it gives you any discounts in the second game, but I'm guessing it does, but... It would be cool if it didn't, but anyway, I'm just gonna leave this episode here and I'm just gonna go. See you If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button and I'll see you all guys in the next video.